So here I'm checking for leaks using a micro leak detector and it's a very thick substance but they changed over this aftermarket condenser and this is a CPS or CSF or CSC, I don't know what, whatever that company is. And uh, so here's the old sensor. And I know, you know, shops don't change the O-rings often. They just pull it off and throw it on us. So that'll be a source of a leak. And that's what I'm looking for right now is I have it under the nitrogen how you like my gauges they're all they're all busted up they don't work uh, I do things by ear and feel but you don't do that <laughs> I do that um, so we're looking for a leak here and we're looking for a leak inside here because aftermarket condensers on top of using old, old rings they don't always machine where the machining is where the o-rings have to be placed they don't always do it right Sometimes they're a little big, sometimes they're a little off, sometimes their taper is not correct, and uh, you swap over the condenser and it leaks. And as you can see here, I'm testing at 209 PSI. You can see the slowly coming off up on the low side because this is a hard shut off expansion valve, so that's why the low side is not up. I'm just feeding pressure in the high side. So that's one thing I do every time it's nice and wide open when they don't have them put together i make sure i can physically get to them do this and then i have the uv dye in the system and then i have electronic leak uh, test because it could pass this test but once you get refrigerant in there and the metal gets hot the metal expands it could leak after the metal expands it could pass a static test but fail on dynamic test or when it gets really hot and high pressure and it's you know goes to utah in the summertime and it's 110 degrees outside and you're at 390 psi and the refrigerant temperature coming in here is 250 degrees then it leaks but when it comes back to san francisco and it's only 68 degrees outside or 70 degrees the temperature and pressure are low it stops leaking so you try as many different ways of leak testing before you send a vehicle out uh, to make sure you have the least amount chance of leaks especially when they use cheap aftermarket condensers. All right, see you guys later. Uh, Big Blue, micro leak detector, uh, True Tech Tools.